Hey, this is Ivan with Oldwood Golf. Welcome back to the channel. So I did find a, lot, a little bit more about this Akushnet DT ball. So um, the red lettering means it was a 90 compression. DT uh, is a durable Titleist. So not quite comparable to a Bellotta, which I think would be more comparable to a Pro V1, but we're gonna do the test anyway. So we got the um, Peking Drew 425. Um, we're gonna just use the uh, old eight iron. So we'll hit, um, hit 10 decent shots here with the uh, Akush net, and then we'll uh, have, a, have a Pro V1 and we'll hit and we'll see uh, how our numbers compare. So this is the Akush net. Alright, well, great smash factor there. I want to keep hitting these. And we may not, not get a, a good smash factor because the ball doesn't want to fly off the face part as much, so I felt like a decent strike, so let's see what happens. So, this is a little bit slower than what we did last time with the iron, so part of that I think it's just me swinging a little bit lighter today, so. Much better there. That's a keeper. A little bit shorter, but decent smash factor there. Jerry's 122.89. Ready. Might be keep some of these. I felt decent. Jerry's 119.89. Ready. Jerry's 125.99. Ready. Got that smash factor by 1.2 there. On the, uh, on the flight scope here. We'll call this a 7-iron. Not really gonna affect the numbers, but just so we can uh, keep Keep track of uh, which ball is which. So 7-iron for the Pro V1. Ready. 
145 total, 142 carry. Ball speed at 109. Do not think we got anything near that close. So we'll take a look at the uh, at the numbers here. Get out of the way. So if we take a look at our table view, Ready. I'm gonna. This is the uh, Pro V1. We had the one really thin shot that launched low. Looks like we can take out three and four there. So we got a carry average of 137, total 141, club at speed 84, ball speed at 105, spin at 7200. So pretty close to what we were hitting the other day. We got an uh, average uh, height of 92. And so we'll switch over to our eight iron. They're both eight irons, but this is the, uh, the DT, the Kushnet DT. So let's take out these guys. Anything under 110 for sure. Get that first one too. So with this, we got 10 good shots there. Um, average carry of 127, total carry of 130. So, you know, good 11, 12 yards um, shorter. I did swing the club just a little bit faster, but pretty close, just about a mile an hour difference. Um, ball speed at 99, so you can see the difference there. Um, you know, that's that's uh, you see it in the Smash Factor too. And actually, these uh, look like they had a little bit more spin on them, so they're spinning a little bit more than the. Uh, and the Pro V1, that's an interesting uh, interesting finding there. So um, I'm gonna come back here to our trajectory and we'll take a look at um, all clubs, here we go. So um, the DT was, um, looked like the dispersion was a little bit wilder, um, a little bit tighter. Uh, with the Pro V1 and pulled them a little bit more left. So there you have it. The uh, the old golf ball is definitely not a, not as fast as the newer one. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, leave me any comments below. Uh, we'll see you next time.